Welcome to another video. On this video, I'll show you how to map a network drive via C sharp. Um, obviously, it's easier just to click map network drive and pick one of the letters if you care, and then the path to the share. But if you are an IT guy and have a lot of users that they need um, uh, to map the network drives when they log in uh, you probably won't need this if you're on a domain because you can uh, run scripts when they log in but uh, in case you don't have a domain yet uh, this uh, small application will help you a lot and I'll go ahead and show you so as you can see I only have a C drive in the default uh, F drive I believe that's for uh, repartition the whole computer and the CD or DVD drive so I'll go ahead and run it I made this basic uh, WPF is nothing fancy uh, but I'm gonna try to do videos on WPF instead of wind porns but on this one I have a basic grid uh, a text box three text box one for the user password and share in a button map drive and this guy's just a mess in case there's an error or if it finish uh, behind the code we'll go back here and so far I only have uh, this is let me go back here and then the click map so here I'm just checking doing a basic making sure that the text box for username and password in the share has something on it it's not perfect but for this demo I'll just leave it like that and the next thing I'm doing is I'm just setting the label to please wait is this guy so what it's doing its work and here's the actual uh, method that happens and it takes the username the same thing username password and, and the share and I'm taking away any spaces that the user might have done by mistake uh, other than that <coughs> If there's no username and password, we'll just say user password required and share required. So once I go on this guy, three arguments, and here's the class. Now this class, uh, somebody else did. So I'm just uh, this video is to show you how to actually or walk you through the code. But you build when you initiate your object network drive and it's really easy I'm not sure who did it but I'll show you the website where I found it um, uh, the first thing I'll do in my case this is something that I found also on the web but I forgot where it was or where did I found it but what it does it will find the next available drive that's it will return a letter uh, now I'm returning a letter but to uppercase so I can get a capital you know Z E or whatever A that's what this guy is doing and before I go down there let me show you this one as you can see here it has a collection of letters from A to Z and it's checking each one it's adding it now here it gets all the drives the current drives so obviously I need to loop again and remove those specific letters from this collection from this collection string collection uh, this guy you, you're probably gonna need to add this namespace system that collections that specialize to make it work and obviously the namespace for this class so go down so after it removes the current drives letter 
it would just uh, make sure I have something available and it will return the, the list if not it would just say no drives available in error so that's all what it's doing it's really nice uh, function there so once I get the available drive uh, so you know how you click this guy you see this available one so in my case it will start from A it will start in order so once I get that letter available I go ahead and say well what is the drive local drive that I need to do and here I'm passing the letter so if it's A, A, if not it's B but this guy will make sure that I'm getting the available one and then here prompt for credentials in my case I set it to false because I'm getting the credentials from the UI the share name is the text box that we have on the UI persistent so when they reboot it will reconnect the user to the share save credentials it's very basic saving uh, the user and password and here's where you map you, ha you actually do the mapping here and it requires a user and a password that's most shares require that and here just saying done if no errors happen now this one is not as optional but I just put it on here so when it's finished mapping I'm telling the expert to open the drive now I'll show you in here I'm just saying exception blah 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 error happened so I'm gonna try to run it so here's the basic amp now I made a dummy share on my desktop so I just name it shared test and sharing so so this is what you need to pass as a share <coughs> so I'll just copy this guy paste it over here and here pass your username and hit map drive so you can see it worked uh, really nicely when you go to my computer well before that you you saw that how this explorer window pop up that's from this line of code from here from this guy that's why the window pop up with this window so if you go to my computer now you can see that I have the same drive obviously and I have a network location with the letter A you can see I have an A drive now see, so C and F are taken in G so the next one is A available now if I run it again it will map it again the same way it did but with a different letter OBB so really nice uh, and here's the place where I found it the site is www.aejw.com and from there the second option it will say C network drive network drive class and in here there's a, it says that it's Windows 90, 98 second edition through Windows Vista but I just did on Windows 7 uh, home and it works fine so uh, I thanks this guy or her the job he, they did on this class is really nice and as you can see there's a like a demo here for the options you can put on and other details on how to unmap because this one can also unmap as you can see you can call the same object and do that unmap drive obviously you need to pass which one you're gonna disconnect and there's more uh, details on credentials prompting the persistent very simple 
but it's really nice because once you have multiple users or too many users all you need to do is say well here's your username and here's your password and here's the share so I just told my user copy and paste run this program and copy and paste into each text box or box whatever they wanna they understand and then all they have to do is cl click map drive so this saves you a trip to their desk and you can continue doing other stuff so thanks to this guy we got a nice network drive uh, code class with C sharp and VB you can use it and I did this with WPF and it works fine I had no issues and obviously on my uh, project solution I already have a, a setup because I already installed this on the on an on uh, actual user at work so it's working perfectly so thank you for watching if you have any questions uh, you know how to reach me at v pacheco 99 at gmail.com or at 240vs.com thank you for watching